Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Agla Sim Schools. And in this video, we'll be covering exercise 2.1 of chapter fractions and decimals of grade 7 from NCRT. So we have already discussed question 1 to 6 in our previous videos. And now we'll be covering up question 7 and 8, that is the last two questions of this particular exercise. So in both these questions, basically we'll be trying out to apply some applications of whatsoever we have learned in simple fractions that is by comparing both the fractions and arrive at some conclusion so question 7 of this particular exercise we'll start with that so question 7 says Ritu ate 3 by 5 part of an apple and the remaining apple was eaten by her brother that is Somu so how much part of the apple did Somu eat now see what is happening here is so Ritu had some apple and Ritu ate 3 by 5 part of apple. Now what does this mean? If there is one apple, I ate 3 by 5 part of this particular apple. And now I ask you, what will be left for you? Same is the situation with Ritu and Somu. Ritu has already eaten three-fifths of the apple and now she is asking how much apple did her brother Somu eat. So Somu will get 1 minus 3 by 5 of this apple. So that is actually I will convert this into like fractions. So it is very simple. By now you must be uh, I'll say uh, expert in solving such fractions. So two fifth of the apple is eaten by Somu. Now who had the largest here? So obviously it's very clear rather I'll not even get into solving that particular thing. So Ritu ate three fifth, Somu ate two fifth. And since these are like fractions, you can obviously say is it 2 8 more. But by how much? So for that, you need to calculate the difference between the two shares and Somu's shares. So how will you find that? So on comparison, you can write Ritu's share minus Somu's share you get 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 so 1 by 5 is the excessive share that was enjoyed by Ritu so the final answer will be 1 by 5th part of apple that is excessive part consumed by Ritu coming on to question number 8 now here Michael finished coloring a picture in 7 by 12 hour. Weber finished coloring the same picture in 3 by 4 hour. Now the question asks you who worked longer and by what fraction was it longer. So you actually have to compare both the hours that is the time taken and difference of the two both will be the answer who and by what fraction was it longer. So Michael took how many hours? Michael has 7 by 12 hours. And Weber took to paint that particular picture or color that particular picture. It was 3 by 4 hours. Now it's very clear we can't compare directly these fractions so we need to convert the fraction into like fraction so what is 7 by 12 can be converted or 3 by 4 can be converted let's convert 3 by 4 into like fraction so 3 by 4 can be easily converted by having a base of 12 so that is multiply it with 3 by 3 so that gives you 9 by 12 hours now you can easily say yes on comparing it is visible that Weber took more time 
yes so we'll write on comparing it's evident that 9 by 12 is greater than 7 by 12 so Weber took more time so this means Weber took more time but why how much so for that you will just subtract both the numbers and arrive at 2 by 12 that is 1 by 6 hours so Weber took 1 by 6 hours extra so you can actually write 1 by 6 hours it's not hours because it's just R is mentioned in that particular question so if you just need to even specify in minutes you can do that but that's not required so this is all for the given question and we hope you understood both the questions that we did today so in case if you have any queries related to question number seven and eight you can just leave a comment below the video thank you